What's up, Gundam Kitchen fans? Got another shipment of mini Z's. Got some nice variety this time. So, starting with the new front wheel drives, which are on the newest all wheel drive frame. I think there's only one all wheel drive out using it, but this is the newest frame with the batteries laid across the bottom and the motor high. And what's interesting about getting these cars in is they're never really the color I suspect them to be. Or not all of them, but some of them are definitely different colors, I suspect. Because this one was described as championship white. I didn't realize it was going to be off-white. So it's kind of a cream color, which is really interesting on the Civic. I've never seen that. Maybe in Japan they do it. But pretty cool. Yeah, one of those colors we probably just don't have in America. So front-wheel drive. Rural times to open up and see this, how this handles, but... I'll let it uh let somebody buy that one. And then we have the all wheel drive. So this is a drift one. So the ready sets and all wheel drive are designed to drift. The uh pro and VEs and all those are a little more designed for racing. You can try to tune them down the to drift, but they're really designed to race. But in the ready set, this is a drift car, and as seen by the picture right there. And these do it really well. They have hard tires and make it sideways real quick. And this is another color I didn't suspect from the from the picture online. It just seemed like a different shade of blue, but I really like this color. Almost reminds me of a Gundam. And then the color that definitely threw me off was I ordered this uh this Corvette for someone. And this was described as shadow gray metallic. And it's got a lot of like green blue in there. So very interesting. In the pictures, it looked black. But it's got this nice shimmery green blue paint job, which is really interesting. Did not see that coming. I can see how that's described as a gray because when you deal with like the military paints, grays have so many different colors in them. German grays and blue green grays, all kinds of grays out there. So I can understand how that's a gray. Got one of those LMs in. So this is a rear wheel drive LM, the longest and widest of the uh, the bodies. Oh man, look at that detail right there. Crazy headlights are sharp a little toe hook all the little antennas across the top you roll your car over they're going to definitely be broken off but cool to see them look at that little gas cap that looks nice oh the detail on the back here look at that framing all the structure to the wing it's a pretty car i don't know if i'd race that and then here's one the uh there's the entry level one, so this one's 129. I'm sorry, 130. 129.99, but we just roll it up to 130. So the all white McLaren. This is a F1, I believe. Yeah, F1 GTR. So it does not come with ball bearings and has a pretty simple paint job, but good deal considering the other. Real drive rate or runs start at uh, the 180 price. So that's a really good deal. And then the nice, the Audi. So we've seen these in two other colors already. And this is the third. R8. Oh, look how they did the mirrors and the flat. There's like flat and uh, gloss paint on this. It's really nice. And these have a beautiful gas tank again on that side. Can't really see that grill that well through here, but really nice grill. Then I got a couple of the bodies in. So the initial D, these are the higher quality ones, the regular auto scale. So these are at $50, while the other ones I got before were at like a... 35, I believe. So these are nicer paint jobs, glossier paint. 
And then this is not, I don't, technically it's not initial D, but I swear they had a car just like this in initial D, almost the exact same colorway. And if you can see that, there is writing right between there, which is pretty amazing. It's really tight. I can't even read it, but pretty sure it says something. And I really like how they did the uh, defrosters on the back. That's a nice detail. And those rims are on point, too. Got a couple motor mounts in case you want to switch between uh, rear motor to mid motor. So we got those in. A couple white bodies. So we got a, got a P1. We got a R8 in white body. And we have the WRX STI in white body. This is definitely one of the newer ones. This is yeah, this is like the current generation. And you can see what's nice about the white bodies is none of the lights and stuff are placed in yet. So you can paint this up. You don't have to worry about masking off for lights. You don't have to mask off for whatever kind of paint details you want to do. The windows aren't attached yet. So you have plenty of opportunity to get all that in. Your rims are white too, looks like. So that kind of sucks. So you got to paint rims. But these are great because they're only, I believe they're $25. Let me double check that for you. All right, so the white bodies are $30. But these are great because you can get these, uh, you can just put some clear coats on these and use them as your beater bodies. And probably the most important thing in the shipment is... We got our new tags in, so these will be for sale. They'll be $20. Um, almost taking a loss on these. This is very close to what I bought them for, but I want to get you guys racing. So these are the tags you need to race. These are actually a $40 value, but we got a good deal on them. And uh, I want to get you guys racing, so you'll need your tags. This is for the lap counter. Uh, they go under the body. They actually have are perfectly fit into the spot because they were made by Koshi, so they were designed to fit the cars. And uh, they work really well. Now I got the lap counter mounted. Just got to get the software working, but we will be ready for our first race, which should be the beginning of February. And if you want to, you know, drop some track time, see how fast you're going, definitely a must-have. And we always have the computer up front so we can just turn it on and, uh, you know, record some track times. All right, guys, hope to see you in. Grab up these new ones. Let me know what kind of parts you need so I can start, you know, getting parts orders in. I have a decent amount of parts, but definitely there's tons of parts out there. And so much I can't carry at all, but, you know, if there's some frequent parts or things like that we need, I'll start getting those in. All right, talk to you later. Peace.